there and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Auntie Sonia. Tonight I have my handsome son Caleb here with me and we're getting ready to make some roasted potatoes, grandma style, and some pork chops. The roasted potatoes, it's basically a very simple, simple method. What we're going to do is we're cutting the potatoes and Caleb has already begun cutting the potatoes. And what you'll do is you'll take the potatoes and you'll cut them in half. And then you're going to cut them in probably about one inch cubes. And once you do that, go ahead Caleb, cut it through the middle so that they can see how it's done. So as he cuts it down the middle, and then he'll lay it on the cutting board, cut it straight down the center again. And then he'll cut them in one inch cubes. Then what we'll do is we'll put them in the baking pan. And what's so awesome is we're going to use Italian dressing. My mom, Mildred Allison, God rest her soul, taught me how to make this quick and simple. You need to add no salt, no anything, because the dressing is already seasoned. So what we'll do is we're going to use four ounces of the dressing because we actually have eight potatoes that we cut up. And go ahead and put them in the pan, Kayla. We can cut that one later. This is quick college style. We put them in the pan, spread them out, and then go ahead and pour your salad dressing on. And that's four ounces of salad dressing. Get it all over them. And then you can start up that way. Do it like if you were at school. There you go. Just keep it real, brother. And as you notice, all the potatoes has a little bit of something on them. And that something is the Italian dressing. Now, if you want, you can add a little bit of salt. You can add a little bit of pepper. But for our purposes, we're not adding anything because this already is seasoned. And now he's going to go on to put some foil paper on this and we're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. And once that's done, we'll take it out the oven and you'll see the yum deliciousness that was produced. Again, that is in the oven at 350 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes, covered. Then you can remove it for the last five minutes of the 40 minutes so that it can get a little crisp on the top of it. Alrighty? Now we're going to move on to, he's actually going to make some, <laughs> okay, wash your hands. He's actually going to make some pork chops and these were already washed and while they're passing, not kids, Taylor, they were washed with vinegar to just get that little slime off of it that comes when you get the stuff from the supermarket. And he is going to use my special dry rub that I created. It's our all-purpose dry rub that he will use on the pork chops. He'll be making four pork chops and we're going to do them in the skillet. So to get started, he's going to actually, go ahead Caleb, he's going to put a teaspoon per slice. And if you, if you, you can pick it up so that they can see the slice. They're very thin cut. Just take it and rub it on. So that's one piece. You can put it in the. Here we go. Here we go. And 
as he gets the, the dry rub on each piece. So this is what he would do if he were in school. You can talk while you're doing it, Caleb. You don't want to talk? Okay. <laughs> so he's demonstrating how he would season his own meat. He's cleaning up as he cooks. I love it. A teaspoon of browning to the whole meat because he doesn't want to make it too dark. We're going to move over to our skillet. I know we have a little gap space in there with our talking, but he's going to come over here to the skillet where we have a half an ounce of sesame seed oil. And we're going to put our sesame seed oil in the pot. I use the same, we're popping like that because I use the same measuring utensil that we used before for the Italian dressing. And then he's just going to go ahead, the skillet is at 350. Little boy. Go ahead. When you flop it down like that, it's going to pop more. Now that's how he does He stands on doing it at school. I wouldn't advise him to do that. But as he cleans his hands at 350, we're going to allow each piece of pork chop to go ahead and get some color to it. And you can smell that awesome roll coming up off of it, we're just going to get it a light brown on each side, so that'll be probably about three minutes on each side. While we're letting this go ahead and brown, zooming on that night, what we'll do is we'll get our oven. set for 350 and while our oven is set for 350 we're going to cover our potatoes stick it in and we're going to go ahead and we're going to let this brown and then we'll show you at the end the yum deliciousness what we'll also do is we'll add one onion 
to the pork chop that is currently being browned on one side. So we'll add our onion to it. And then once we're done, this meal right here will take approximately about 50 minutes to an hour, which is really quick. This is from prep time to cook time to eat time. The pork chops don't need to be cooked for long. If you can see, if you'll zoom in here for me, Najee, you'll see the nice brown color that it's getting already. Now, I snagged Caleb. He's on his way out to the mall, but I snagged him because I wanted him to get it started. So he'll have his meal ready when he comes back. But as you can see, we're getting that nice brown color on there. And we'll continue to let it brown on this side for another three to five minutes. Then we'll add our onions and we'll let it cook for about 25 minutes or until tender and then it'll be ready. Alrighty, so we'll be back to show you the results of our yum delicious preparation. Alrighty, so we're adding our onions and we're going to cover and let it saute for 25 minutes and then we'll come back to some yum deliciousness. So ladies and gentlemen, here you have it. Our potatoes are done, as you can see. Nicely done. And my kids like their meat very well done. So here we have our pork chop and I'll bring it so that you can see it here. And that is also done. Nice, nicely done. So there we have it. We had our pork chop and our roasted potatoes and we'll put in the link how we did it with the recipe. And when you try it, make sure you tag us to let us know how enjoyable and yummy it was for you. Thank you so much for joining Auntie Sonia. Please subscribe and like our videos. Take care. So this is our completed potatoes and pork chop. As you can see, it's very well done. The nice gravy that came off of it. And it will be enjoyed in a manner that is unspoken of. Thank you again for joining us at Auntie Sonia's Cooking. And I hope when you make yours, you will tag us so that we can see how delicious. You can get our dry rub at www.sipsteaparlor.com. Thank you.